This is Santent, Africa's richest square mile. Based in Johannesburg, South Africa, it was within this thriving financial district in 2018 that President Cyril Ramaphosa launched his ambitious vision to drive investment of up to 100 billion US dollars over the next five years. Over 1,700 people from 22 countries converged at the second inaugural South Africa Investment Conference in Johannesburg, a gathering that was part of the president's push to improve Africa's second largest economy and deal with a 29.1% unemployment rate. Exactly one year since the maiden summit, eight of the 31 projects announced have been released, with 17 at implementation stage. The total value of investment commitments made today is in the order of 363 billion rand. We've received indications of a further 8 billion rand, which is planned investments that are still subject to board approvals. These investments will conservatively lead to the creation of around 412,000 direct jobs over the next five years. Effective coordination of all aspects of our investment and investment. Central to many discussions within the textile, energy and high-tech sectors was South Africa's favorable access to global markets. Trade agreements within SADC and the BRICS nations, for example, encouraged value chain investment. We are saying the continent is the next big continent, not only South Africa within the continent, but actually we're saying come to South Africa because of our infrastructure, our accessibility to actually reach our counterparts in the continent. And we're saying come grow with us. And that's the message we have been saying also to our African peers that you, we are growing. It's the African growth story that starts in South Africa and lends itself into the east, the west and the north of the African continent. The country has set a target to be placed among the top 50 global performers on the World Bank's Doing Business Report over the next three years. Significant improvements are noted in this year's report in areas such as setting up a business and trading across borders. We have really found great partnership with the Department of Trade and Industry and specifically the team at Invest South Africa. Understanding the frameworks for investment incentives in the country and supporting us with some of the operational aspects of bringing in new manufacturing investments into the country. And just last week, we had the official commissioning of that Always plant, um, of the new Always line in South Africa, increasing our manufacturing jobs by 30%. It's a 300 million rand investment, and we are really looking forward to doing more of the same. Despite challenges ranging from corruption, state capture, and stabilization of debt-stricken power utility company, ESCOM, many foreign investors still believe in the president's vision. French companies, Total, Eliquid and Alstom promised to invest over 1.3 billion US dollars over the next three years. French companies understood the message a long time ago. Today we have more than 65,000 direct jobs that are provided by French companies. Unfortunately, the vision of our French compatriots outside is tainted by visions of insecurity and corruption. But if you look at this city, Santon, it's like a modern European city. Here we do business as we would do in Europe, with a highly developed banking sector, with an independent judiciary. So we have everything we need to do business. South Africa's focus of entrenching a business-friendly environment is on track to reaping the rewards of long-term investment prospects across a wide variety of sectors. For Africa News and Euronews, Nyashoke Mutizwa, Johannesburg, South Africa.